All right, so let's take a look at this question here. It says a common inhabitant of human intestines is the bacteria given there. Um, a cell of this bacterium is a nutrient broth um, medium divides into two cells every 20 minutes. The initial population of the culture is 56 cells. Okay, so find the relative growth rate. So this is what we were doing before here. We started with that P equals P0 um, E to the RT in that case. So we had to find this out here. So what we did was we started and said when it's been zero hours, in that case, we know that there was 56 cells. And then it doubles every 20 minutes. So it becomes 112 when it's been 20 minutes, which is a third of an hour. So all we did then was we just had to substitute that into our problem here. So we know the population was 112 when the initial population is 56, e to the r times, in this case, the rate, uh, the time, I mean, was one third in that case. So we divide both sides by 56, divide by 56, and we get 2 equals e to the one third r. And then we take the ln of both sides. So we get the ln of 2 equals the ln of e to the one-third r. We bring that down in front. The ln of two equals one-third uh, r times the ln of e. But the ln of e is just one, so that's just going to disappear there. And then to get r by itself, all I need to do is multiply both sides by three. Because then we'll be left with r equals three ln of two and that's our growth rate and if you were to do this out in this case so let me pull up the calculator so we had three ln of two so if i type in three times the ln of two that comes out to be 2.079 which is the 2.08 that you got there so r is that 2.08 um, but the exact answer is 3 ln of 2 in this case. So B there, it says find an expression for the number of cells after t hours. Well, this is very easy. All you need to do then is put that value back into your equation here. So P of t, in that case, would be our initial population, which is 56, times e to the r, which we just found out, which is 3 ln of 2, times t and that's going to be your answer to the second one here now i don't know if your teacher is going to have you put in 3 ln of t times 2 or if your teacher is going to use the 2.08 from the last question so it's either going to be this or it's going to be 56 e to the 2.08 t in that case one of those is the correct answer to that um, i usually like to keep it exact but since the last answer you got was 2.08 Zero 0.8, then um, it might want you to use that value for the next one here. Okay, and then the question says, find the number of cells after eight hours in this case. Okay, so then all you need to do is substitute into your equation, t is eight. So you're gonna put your t is eight into that equation there. So if I did that, I'd get 56 times e to the three times the ln of two times eight in that case. And if I do that out, that's how many cells there are. That is a, a pretty large number in this case. So we'd copy that number over and that was, um, I'll just write it down here, the 9395243. So 939 million in that case. All right. And then it says, when will the population um, reach 20,000 cells? So that's when we want to know the population P of T. I want to know when that is 20,000. So basically, I need to solve this equation for how long that's going to take T to do this. So in order to get our main answer here, I'm going to divide both sides by 56 in that case. So let me bring 
um, this back over here. Oops. Okay. So we're going to do the 20,000. Oh, let's try that again. We're going to do the 20,000 divided by 56, which gives us that number. Okay, so 357, yada, yada, yada. Um, so 357 point whatever, whatever that came out to be. And then on this side, we have e to the 3 ln of 2 raised to the t. So this is roughly 1, 4. Now, when you're doing this out, I would tend to keep the whole number in your calculator. So to get t now, I have to take the ln of both sides. So I'm going to take the ln of that whole number and then the ln of this side in this case. Okay. And then again, according to log laws, I can bring my exponents down in front. So it's going to be the ln of that whole number here. So not just that, but the whole number. And then 3 ln of 2 times t. Okay. In that case. Um, and in this case here, then we're going to go ahead and actually figure out what the ln of that number is. So I'm going to take the ln of that last answer there. In that case, see what that gives me. So that's about 5.878. So 5.878 equals 3 ln of 2 times t. And then to get the t by itself, I would divide by 3 ln of 2. Divide by 3 ln of 2. Okay, so we're going to take that whole number, that answer there, and I'm going to divide it by this whole thing, 3 times the ln of 2. And that comes out to be about 2.86 something, something, something. So again, um, it says right round your answer to the nearest two decimal places. So I'd say 2.83 then. So this answer would be T is 2.83. All right, hope that helps.